How's it going guys? So today's video is all about the brand new RTX 4090. Now Nvidia was kind enough to sponsor this video and give me one of these awesome GPUs. So today what I want to do is kind of a casual, just general showcase of how this thing performs while I'm designing some of my 3D art. This is not a benchmarks video or even a super technical video because honestly, there's plenty of those already. The card just released today, so there's gonna be plenty of those videos. But what I wanted to do is just to very like, hey, how does this thing perform in a real world situation, specifically real world for me where I'm designing motion graphics or 3D scenes and some that get super hefty. And so what I wanna do is just do that. I'm gonna show you two scenes, one that's relatively light, but something that I do all the time. Then we're gonna get into a hefty scene uh, where there's gonna be a lot of reflections and fog, I mean, volume, things like that. So, you know, not super technical, uh, but still kind of showcases this uh, GPU and how powerful it is. So the first scene is this one right here. I was recording a tutorial today and uh, just so happened to be the day that the card came in. So subsequently used the card while recording the tutorial and just, it was awesome. This is the scene right here. We're just gonna kind of bounce around. Um, now at any point, especially in the second scene when we're you know, moving around and re-rendering this viewport, um, the, the, the video might get kind of pixely for like a few seconds while it kind of generates. That's the fault of OBS, the screen recorder, not the viewport or the fault of the GPU. That's more of an artifact. Just want to kind of clear up any confusion there. Um, but this is pretty cool. And uh, I mean, it, it, it renders viewport wise very quick. And you know, this is one of those kind of abstract scenes that I do quite often. Um, even if we kind of run over here to the shading tab and say, hey, how does this look in the shading tab? Let's goof around with our uh, with this right here, kind of edit that. So even in cycles, I can very comfortably edit my materials. Like, hey, I wanna kind of get in here and look at these kind of specs and say, I wanna make them stronger, much deeper, or hey, I wanna make them less, or certainly we can make them a lot bigger. All that stuff um, renders really quickly. So for me, this is a very accurate real world kind of example of, all right, I'm designing a scene like this, or like, hey, let's go ahead and move these lights. So let's actually just go to the layout scene here. So let's go ahead and move one of these lights here. So this guy. So say we can just kind of move him around. Oh, it's dark. Let's move my light back here. Boom, now he's back and we could look at that. So that's that scene. Now we're gonna go ahead and look at the next scene, which the whole goal of it when I was designing is to kind of make a much more hefty scene. Um, so we're gonna show how quickly it renders. Let's actually look at how quick this guy renders. So we're rendering at 300 samples. These are our light bounces and we are gonna be rendering it at 1080p. Let's just hit the render button. All right, and we're done and this took nine seconds. 1080p, nine seconds, real cool. Of course, not the heaviest scene. It's certainly heavy enough, but not the heaviest scene. So let's make a heavy scene with volume and reflections and all that and let's check out how that renders, the viewport performance and all that fun stuff. All right, so this is the scene I built uh, right here. And I kind of wanted to stop at the part where we need to start looking at viewport. So what I want to do is just simply start designing and you can watch and see how this uh, GPU performs uh, viewport wise. Again, if it gets kind of pixely and stuff, that's the screen recorder, not the uh, viewport specifically. You'll see the whole screen do that. Um, so let's go here to cycles and start just uh, simply start designing. So let's go and get a point light. And uh, I do wanna kind of put it in these kind of crevasses right here, if, if, that's the, if that's the proper term. So let's bring it down right here in the middle. And then we can start placing them here. Definitely wanna make it at like 2000 on the brightness. Boom, all right. And then we already implemented some volume because I was playing with the scene earlier. Um, so we have that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Alt D so we can control all the lights at once and we definitely wanna make it NVIDIA green. <laughs> okay, um, so we have that. I do kinda wanna just see all of the holes at once. So Alt, Alt D here, Alt D here and here, here and here. Definitely over here. We'll definitely have a cool reveal. Uh, but even here, I mean, butter smooth on the viewport. We love that. Um, 
we're probably good. One more here, and then let's go ahead and have the grand reveal. Very cool, all right. So let's figure out our composition. And one thing I definitely wanna do is kind of make this look a little bit more dynamic. So I'm gonna turn on my proportional editing and just kind of make this guy come down like that and make this guy kind of come up like this. So that ought to make it look pretty wacky. Um, oop, that's Eevee. So this is the cycles view. I do want to go ahead and uh, put a material on this. So uh, very quickly, let's just use one of the basics from the real-time materials pack. Basics, basic metal, add that. Just use the existing one, cool. So now we have this, which is going to look pretty cool if we head back to our normal scene. Super nice. Let's bring up the brightness for sh Actually, no, we don't want to do that. We want to go ahead and get some area lights. Want to make them a disc, give them power of say a thousand, and then make them a nice blue, and then bring it up, something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting my camera. We definitely want to make a cool composition here. Let's bring that focal length out. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so let's get one one light here and then alt d bring another light over there okay cool so now we have something pretty gnarly and then i do want to go ahead and get my color management on my exposure down a little bit because i really like the way that looks all right let's just kind of zoom in and see what we're working with so we have just kind of these hexagons they're not hexagons are they they might be hexagons i have this um this is not totally practical. It's like say, hey, if I want to edit my materials, I would go to the EV preview and then go ahead and like edit the roughness. But just to show off this graphics card, of course, we can kind of look at that here. And, you know, sometimes we do want to kind of see. So we'll make this fully reflective like that. Bring that in. Kind of like this, see how that is. But I really want to make it super glossy. Okay, that looks pretty nice. And then we can maybe bring that roughness up a little bit so it's not super reflective. So this is how our scene is looking. Now, for the relatively grand reveal, let's go ahead and render this. And of course, for the technicals, we are looking at 800 samples. These are my light bounces. Um, my resolution is 1920 by 1080. And let's render it. All right, so this is the crispy, clean, nice scene uh not denoised i kind of wanted to keep the noise in there because i love noise uh and we are looking at 25 seconds or 25.06 seconds for this scene right here which is pretty good um i am totally happy with this to be able to you know render out 200 300 frames say it was animating it like a wave or something that's a pretty good amount of time and i'm super happy with that again this is not going to be a super technical crazy video. This is simply so you can casually see how this thing performs in the real world. Um, and it's awesome. Again, 25 seconds for this frame. Um, and it's awesome. It's cool. I've been using it all day and I've loved it. I've loved the speed. I've loved the viewport performance and um, nothing but nice things to say about this GPU. So yeah, there you go. That's the RTX 4090. Uh, it's awesome. Thank you, NVIDIA, for sponsoring this. I uh, love working with you guys, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.